Okay, everybody. Um, I went into the office, spoke to the manager, and she put in a phone call, told the Longhorn Towing Company to bring my car back. They towed it illegally, basically, or maybe not illegally, but they weren't supposed to tow it because she even acknowledged, called my boss, left a message on the phone from my boss. This is the Madeline Apartments, Dallas, Texas, 9855 Shadow Way. I'm on my way back to the office now to get a letter. She promised to pay me for the time I missed off work. I showed my pay stubs, said that she was going to get the car back. So I called Longhorn again, told him she's the regional manager. What she said, and they said, we don't give a flip about no regional manager. We work for the owners, and you've got to come down and show this, this, that, and that, and that. So, you know, I called her back and said, hey, this is what Longhorn's saying. They say they don't care what you say. And she said, well, don't worry about it. I got everything under control, but I'm worried at this point. So uh, I don't know what to think. Longhorn is saying, even though they entered onto this property, that they have some type of an agreement with the management, the managers, the owners. They keep saying owners of this property. And that whoever's in the office, the people that have been hired to run this place, they don't give a flip what they say. So the lady at Longhorn was real nasty. She said, basically, you know, they just can't put in a phone call. You've got to come down here, show this, this, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, and you've got to pay this. We're not, we don't care about a regional manager, what a regional manager has said. Now, this woman is a regional manager. She's hired to, to run this place. And they, say, and they keep saying, well, all we care about is what the owners say, the owners say. So the regional manager says, she said, well, we, we give them, and her name is Leandy. This is at the Madeline. She said, we give them too much business. For them to, you know, have this cocky attitude with us. And apparently my car was not the first car to be towed illegally. They, they're forgetting to give people these parking passes. Towing company, they, from what I was told, comes out every single night and, and prowls this property. And they towed even the maintenance guy's truck who lives here. They towed his truck. So... You know, they promised to pay me for the time, but that was not in writing. I know if it didn't, didn't get in writing, it didn't happen. But I had walked into the office preparing to act a fool and actually probably be arrested. You understand? Because this is Texas people, and we don't, people like me, poor people, whatever, we don't have a lot of recourse in the court systems in Texas. Texas, you know, most of the, the judges out here, almost all of them, are Republican bigots. Well, I don't want to say Republican bigots, but they're, they're big business type people. And if you're poor, you don't matter. You don't have any rights. It's like the only rights in Texas protect those with power and money. So, uh, you know, I'm on my way back into the office now at the Madeline to see about getting my car back. I'm a little worried because at first the lady said that she would take me there. And then she's saying, well, hold up, hold up. We're trying to get it back. So, people, I'm recording all this. And... Uh, I feel I need to, but excuse me, sir, I'm on my way into the office right now. I will let you know you got I will let you guys know the outcome.